Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your general read for the month of August. It's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other signs. I advise, actually, that you check out your other signs, whether it resonates or not, okay? Energy is fluid, which means um, you may need to reverse the roles. I'm reading from the perspective of Scorpio because this is a Scorpio reading, but um, it could not necessarily be the energy that you're in, but perhaps um, someone that you're dealing with, okay? Could be like cross watcher energy so on and so forth time is an illusion so of course we are going to stamp this for the month of august but it could definitely be before after somewhere in between could be years after years later whatever whatever right um we got to stamp it something also remember that we read tarot so that we can look at the energy at hand um the timelines and possible outcomes from that energy timeline so um, it's not concrete it's not the end all be all we do it so that we can be aware stay vigilant stay cautious and if there's something that we see that we do not like we're able to change that okay or feed into that it is up to you all right so immediately coming out for Scorpio you have several suitors coming your way if you're looking for love uh be ready careful what you ask for because you have many possibilities and new proposals coming to you um if you were in a situation where it was like sort of dead end as far as love goes romance you weren't getting what you wanted out of the relationship they weren't offering you what you needed it just simply wasn't enough cool you have others coming the knight of uh cups continued to come out whenever i was shuffling off camera with the lovers and the ace of wands okay you have major major and the seven of cups major major um changes and opportunities and offers and proposals coming to you in the area of love okay so your focus right now is being solid okay and being stable the challenge is <laughs> do you want to do that alone or do you want to do that with a partner it looks like you're a little bit undecided as to whether or not you want to be single um, or do this on your own. So if this is in a business aspect, it looks like you're undecided as to whether or not you want to stay with your own business, your own company, or, or start that off or stick with it. Or if you just want to go back to maybe to corporate America or working for someone else or even some of you, I'm seeing you signing a business over. So some of you already have an up, or, up and running company and the decision is whether or not you want to go ahead and sell that and sign over and make your life a little bit easier because having a company is a lot of work. Okay. In the past, we've got some faded events going on here with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and it does look like you have had a lot of success, Scorpio, with just overall life. It looks like you've broken a lot of cycles, um, come a long way. Um, and see, so that makes a lot more sense as the first cards that were popping out. Like, eh, I am not dealing with that shit. But the thing with Scorpio is, Scorpio, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, if you are a cross watcher, by the time Scorpio actually stops talking to you and leaves your life, they've already been leaving for like months, if not a year. Scorpio doesn't do anything overnight. It only, everybody thinks Scorpio overreacts or has like these weird reactions when in fact Scorpio has been going through that for months, if not years before they actually do it. And that's because this is most fixed signs because they are so fixed. Once they get to a certain maturity level, they need to make absolute sure that's the decision they wanna make before they are out. So make no mistake about it, if you are the cross watcher and the Scorpio is leaving your life, done and done, they've been doing that. They've already been preparing mentally, emotionally, physically, they've already got a nest egg, they've already got a whole nother furnished house. Like that's how fixed signs work. They file things away and when they act they are concrete whoa goodness Scorpio Scorpio <laughs> judgment okay so there's definitely a rebirthing and that's why it's like no I'm not taking that shit with me <laughs> not taking it with me no you can't come <laughs> this trip is not for you judgment um, there's been a final decision made and a rebirthing happening okay Look, it's not that you don't understand, respect, and cherish the past. I think you're just over it. 
there's been this sort of like weird, and this happens a lot with Scorpio, but just, I mean, overall with anybody, you get in this state of like missing what was and missing almost what could have been. That doesn't make sense to a lot of people because a lot of people won't admit that they do daydream and they do have ideal situations, right? So, and this happens a lot in meditation. I deal with a lot of people who can't meditate because what happens is when they sit down to meditate, their mind starts to wander and they start to think about like a lot of ideas. There are people that will live out an entire lifespan in a 10 minute meditation session and none of it's real. <laughs> none of it's real. But this happens a lot. But this is what this is in this um, subconscious area. It's not that you don't appreciate what's happened and that you don't, you you have been thinking about it, but you're not staying there. You know, you're, you're going to have to give that up. And that's why we see all this new energy. The challenge is, do you want to go forward with somebody or an already existing relationship, whether that's a work relationship, um, you know, a not you know you can have a relationship with your work that doesn't involve somebody else right um or a romantic relationship or even family that's the challenge it's uh, scorpio this reading has already shaped up to be very decided it's just a matter of who's going to come with you if anybody if anybody or anything Eight of Cups in the reverse position. Scorpio makes the decision to give it another shot. Not ready to leave things behind. So this is definitely a Scorpio shift in a personal, like the way you handle it, the way you go forward, but you're still gonna carry some things and people and or people with you for now. That's the short term outcome. For now. And even Spirit's advice is to not give up hope yet. The uh, world in the reverse position, so we're saying like, yeah, it's we're not gonna we're not gonna move away from this entirely. We've changed our way. Oh, look at that Nine of Cups on the, on the uh, outside influences. So you are taking Scorpio is taking um, other people's wants and needs into consideration and trying to meet in the middle. But this portion, this is like not compromisable because this is Scorpio energy. Yeah, no, I'll compromise with you on your wants and your needs and I'll try to meet you where, you know, whatever. But as far as like me, the way I handle things, the way I perceive things, the way I feel things, the things that I need in my life, the things that I want in my life, non-negotiable, period. That's decided. Interesting. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. Okay, I think that's why we started where we started and the cards that were falling out were falling out. The fear is that you're not gonna get another opportunity and it's possible It's possible that you think that because you've given so much of yourself to these particular aspects, whether it's job, uh, career, family, friends, um, passion, you know, whatever you're passionate about, hobbies, or romantic relationships. You've given so much of yourself, you feel like you're gonna be burned out um, and like you're like by the time you do come out of it, you're gonna be like washed up like the best of your years are gonna be behind you It's simply not true Scorpio has been in this weird like accelerated manifestation mode since like I don't know It's been like seven or eight months um, This type of energy has been coming out and I think I said this before in a past reading because Scorpio has the the Ability to float Pisces is like this too because they have the ability to float around in not just in other realms, but just the way that they operate, they don't really harp on a situation for too long. And it's because of the way that they release. Like they're, by the time they're talking to you about it, they've already released. And they're just like this ever flowing transformative state, which means they're not fixated on anything enough to not allow a man manifestation and change in. And that's what we're seeing here. So for those of you that felt as though you weren't going to have another chance in whatever aspect it is, it's absolutely not true. The moment you used to put this down, actually, I'm going to be very honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of cards of temptation come out because, because of the way you've been fed up and because of the way you've been letting go, even though you're still in a situation, you're about to have many suitors and opportunities present themselves to you. Whatever you've been saying you've been lacking, oh, it's coming. It's r literally, um, yeah, pun intended, because 
you've already voiced it so many times and you're in such a state of manifestation that it's literally going to be knocking on your doorstep. They can smell you. So there's that. But if you are one of the ones that's getting burnt out and thinking like, you know, you've given up all of your best years and you're not going to get another opportunity, absolutely not true. You have many opportunities coming. It's just going to be a matter of which ones do you want to take. Remember, everything that glitters ain't gold. All right, three of pentacles in the reverse position at the overall outcome. We're going to clarify because that's backing up from a situation and no longer wanting to build with someone or something. Not necessarily a bad thing, not necessarily a good thing. Wow, intuition kicking for Scorpio has been for a while. Um, very back and forth on the money and the security. It's like some days you feel like you are the shit and other days you feel like you ain't shit. That's okay. Trust your intuition. Yeah, and then there's the Empress again. Trust your intuition. Go with your gut. Um, and don't question it and continue to look in the mirror Scorpio reflection is big for you right now continue to look in the mirror continue to have honest conversations with yourself about yourself and I think it's going to be that's a healthy outlook to have okay let's get a couple of shuffles here so we can clarify I want to clarify this three of pentacles first So for some of you, there's a definite message. So, okay, so here's the thing, especially when it comes to business, career, or especially those of you trying to start your own business or do like a side thing or something extra um, or make money off of a passion that you've held or something like that. Um, you've made the decision that that's what you want to do. You know you're passionate about it. You know you're good at it. You know that there's a future in it. But... It looks like it's not taking off as soon as you wanted or as lucrative as you wanted or something like that and you're starting to lose steam the advice here is to stick it out a little bit longer okay you're gonna be rewarded at first it will not be enough to make you rich or you're not you know it's not retirement money but it is taken care of so even if it just takes care of itself at least you're not having to put more money into it at first but the advice here is to stick with it a little bit longer because it hasn't it hasn't um, come to full blossom or full fruit or something like that is what, what I'm getting here. So don't give up just yet um, if this is resonating with you on a career level, okay? The Three of Wands and the King, or the Knight of Cups is what's coming out for the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So the overall long-term outcome, if a solid proposal is not made that looks like there's a promising future, Scorpio leaves, period. There is no more negotiation. There's no more uh, waiting. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. I'm not in my house right now. But where I am is fucking active, and I know y'all heard that. If not, go on and reverse it. Rewind. And like I said, if the proposal is not made and there is not a concrete, definite future that anybody can agree or see on, Scorpio's out. Not building, not nothing, cutting all losses. Uh, we will never speak again. Period. You see that? I see that. Woo! My ears just got really hot. Okay. <laughs> Knight of Cups understanding. Again, like I said, Scorpio's taking other things into consideration. Everybody's wants and needs and like, okay, how can we meet in the middle? Where is the compromise? And where is like, the, okay, that's not compromise. That's enabling, you know? That's not help. That's enabling. Let's see this Eight of Cups here. I don't even know what that was that fell, but there was like nothing that... I'm going to get up and look in a minute, but there wasn't anything that was just like teetering or there's no really air in here. Nothing that would have pushed that over like that. Okay. So it's, it's options. That's what I'm telling you. Scorpio has so many options. Literally walk out the door. They're turning their heads. 
in, and I mean in every way imaginable. If it's just something shallow that you want one night, you got it. If it's something concrete and somebody build, build in the future with you, you got it. If you're looking for another house, you got it. If you're looking for business partners and you're trying to network, you got it. They're, they are looking from every direction, watching what you're doing. So that being said, watch what you do because you're being watched. Yep, and it's because of this Queen of Cups energy. Major manifestation. Queen of Cups is a nurturer. She's constantly filling her own cup and everyone else's. She's got no problem giving her cup away because she manifests the new cup instantly, and it's full. It's always full. She's got more than enough to give, and that's because she receives the endless flow of the universe. So stay in that energy, amazing energy. Trust the process and trust that it's okay to let go. Let's do the world, and then we're going to call it. Ooh, two of cups. I'm telling you. So for those of you, especially, like I said, in business, looking for partner or looking for, like, employees that you can trust or anything like that, give it another shot. Stick with it. The people that you can trust are coming, okay? The partnership that you're looking for is coming. You've been manifesting it all along. For those of you in a relationship, trust your eyes and trust your gut. Okay, because you're not moving yet, but you may need to. But overall, it doesn't matter where this is, whether you stay or you go, you'll do what you need to do in the time, but you are still consistently manifesting the partner that you want. Be open because it may not be the partner that you currently have. And for many of you, it likely isn't. That's what I have for you. I love you very much and I'll see you next time.